Hello, my name is Sasha Henderson, and I'm here with my father, Stephen Henderson, a former graduate of TSU. And I have a few questions for you, if that's okay. It's okay. Okay. When and where were you born? I'm born in Los Angeles, California, May 16, 1968. Okay. How did your family get to Texas? Where Where were they before that? Uh, they originally, from my point of view, from my experience, from what I've been told, my mother is from New Mexico, and um, her and my father hooked up in college or in high school, and I was conceived, and they moved to California, and stayed there for three years, and then we moved to Texas, been here ever since. Been happy, of course. Mm -hmm. Okay, has any relative prior to you attended TSU? No, I'm the only one. Besides me, of course. Yes, sir, besides you. What do you remember about your childhood? Uh, just normal childhood, growing up, going to school, playing with my friends. So you were a good boy in yeah. school. Say that. <laughs> you can say that. And did your parents discuss race or racism with you? No, they did not. So you had to find out on your own? Yes, I found out racism on my own. Could you give the audience some examples? As far as stereotype with the police, you know, being pulled over because I have a do-rag on my head or in stores being fo followed by. So co police brutality was like, was it a big thing when you was growing up? When I was growing up, I want to say no. It wasn't heard of, but I knew it was there, you know. But, you know, you rub the police the wrong way, they will come after you. Um, they just, some of them like to intimidate, some of them overuse their boundaries, overstep their boundaries and their authority. Okay. Um, what kind of interaction do you have with people not of your racial background? Uh, as far as working with them and socializing with them. No, no jokes, you know, as kids today, we make jokes about race and stuff like that. Well, you know, if it's a good friend. What? What? What happened? Nothing. Now you had people coming by. I thought that was going to be the wrong. But oh. anyway, <laughs> but you know, well, yeah, well, yeah, I joke with some friends and stuff out of my race and stuff. But you know, they were real good friends. Okay. At the time. <laughs> so, what notable moment in American history sticks out most in your memory? I want to say the Declaration of Independence <laughs> and the Abolish of Slavery. That's the Quick question though, so... Okay, we have Hispanic blood in us. Yes. If you didn't know that. <laughs> um, so, just... So, what were you, our family ever affected by slavery? I really don't think so as far as no one ever approached me to it like when I was growing up I think my grandmother died when I was like 27 or so and trying to talk to her about it you know it just never came up or no one said anything about it okay well our Hispanic side is it just your mother's side yes just on my mother's side as far as you know from your father do you know anything no as far as in true blue African American. Okay. 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 For the previous question, um, where were you? How did you respond? And how did people around you respond about the notable American history thing that sticks out in your memory? Well, it was like more. I try to talk to some people and trying to get a better understanding from other people's point of view. Okay. From my point of view, I was like, okay, this don't seem right. Okay, let me ask some more people and get their opinion on it and see how they, and what reaction was. But I still have to dig for myself and learn for myself. So. Okay. What advice would you give young people today? Stay in school. <laughs> Serious. Education is the key to the future. Sure. I tell all everybody, all the young kids, if you can go back to school, go back to school. Learn, learn. And that I is true tell. because in a few years, because you know, a high school diploma don't really get you. Don't really get you anywhere. Pretty that's soon, what I'm saying. it's gonna be a bachelor's. Yes. That's, that's bachelor. gonna be just like a equivalent to a high school diploma. It's just one of those things you yeah. have to have. Because they're pushing so many people to college. Yes. Stay in school. Yes. Okay.
What made you choose to Texas Southern University? It's a good question. I don't know what made me choose TSU. Um, this was the first and the only college that I applied for. I do not know why. I mean, I'm, even though I know U of H is across the street, it just, I don't know, something. TSU just called me. Mm -hmm. And did you have fun here at the party? Yes. It was nice. It was nice. What do you remember of your graduation day? My graduation day? I had a nice time. It was nice. It was very memorable. Some tears. Some people hugged. I miss my friends. Mm -hmm. I try to keep in touch with a couple of them now, but all in all, it was nice. Okay. Very memorable. What did you study? General subjects, as far as, you know, basic math and science. Just trying to get in the groove, uh, getting, make sure it was there. Okay. <laughs> Who would you identify as important teachers, role models, or significant figures you encountered? Ooh, I don't even know if Miss Wesley is still here. Miss Wesley. She was my math teacher. She's the one that actually sat me down and say, quit playing so much. Get your education. You are very intelligent. You can do this. Okay. And it just clicked in my head. And I think I went out to a party and wasn't comfortable because uh, I just kept remembering her words. And left the party and went back and started studying. How did it prepare you for where you are now? Hmm. Well, as you go through life, from my experience, you still learn. You still continue to learn as far as school, work, people. So it helped me to get to where I'm at now. Okay. So. Very good answer. What memories stick out the most? Were there any significant moments of U.S. history that you recall experience when you were at TSU? No. I said just, so, you know. You graduated 1993. Mm -hmm. So, the introduction of hip hop. Well, back then, I was more into R&B. Okay. I was saying, I, I like R&B singers. Oh, I love R&B. That's what I'm saying. Like, I'm a 90s child. Yes, old school. Um, yes. Genuine. Yes. Uh, they were taking it back. 112. Yes. Silk. That's what I'm saying. Yes. Ready for the world. All that. Oh, yeah. I have some brothers. Brian McKnight. Um, See, I got old. So Bobby Brown. Brown. Yes, you do. <laughs> <laughs> Describe campus then compared to what it's like now. Back then, TSU was small. Small. Now, it's big. It's, it's kind of small. It's, so compared to U of H, U of H is practically its own city. But it's wide now, basically. Now, it's expanding, and I see the growth in it. Mm -hmm. It's come a long way from when I was here. I believe I mean, we can only grow so much though because we don't have a lot of space. With education, to with education, no. You never They could never probably branch off but to keep it like the um the the new housing they're building here. Yes. Like they can only chop something down mm -hmm. every day. But that comes with the restriction and people not wanting to sell uh, I'm quite sure they have tried and they still are trying. Okay, do you think HBCUs are important? Why or why not? I want to say yes. Yes, I do. I mean, it, like I said, it's the future. I mean, you never know what's going to go on, what's going to happen. So it's always nice to have something to fall back on to further your future, your education. Okay. Now, I have a few more questions. Did you hear of the event that U of H was trying to buy out Texas Southern? Yes, I heard that a long time ago. What are your feelings about that? I mean, it really doesn't make sense to have both sides of the street. I mean, I mean, U of H is good for what the studies they have, and TSUs are, are better for what the study they have as far as law and uh, pharmaceutical. And I don't think you're going to get the same if U of H buy and... Um, Com combined with TSU. Would you feel that would be um, a, more of like a, a riot of sorts with the community 
because H uh, because Texas Southern HBCU is grounded in its community, mm -hmm. and that would you feel like people would get angry? I wouldn't say angry. I think it will be um, hard for students to get in to a college as far as DSU because mm -hmm. I have some understanding. I have some people that say I had hard problems getting into U of H and TXU accepted them. So I'm true. not trying to say it's a fallback school, but it's just, I think it's going to be, they're going to have difficult times. What are your feelings on TSU's cultural spirit? What do you like? What are the words I'm looking for? Um, hmm. it's urban, it's blackness. <laughs> yeah, it's pro, well, not pro black. Cause you I wouldn't say no, it's not pro black. I mean, I know TSU is open to everyone and stuff, um, but it's. How are your feelings of the shootings that took place here? Um, all over. I mean, it doesn't have to be here. It can be anywhere, any state, Would any you city. Would call it a TSU shooting or just a shooting? I just call campus? it a shooting on the campus. I mean, yeah. people have things on their mind. I mean, whatever their anger and frustration is, I mean, if you could talk about it, I prefer you to talk about it, but gun violence isn't the answer. Okay. Well, that will conclude our interview. Thank you, Daddy, for helping me. You're welcome, love. Thank you for watching. <laughs>